let's see if we can find uh, the derivative of f of x is equals to x squared plus 5x minus 6 uh, using first principle so which formula do we use when we want to find the derivative of a function using first principle we say that uh, f prime of x is equals to the limit as h turns into 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x uh, divided by h what is left now is substituting uh, on this part of the equation right we just write in f of x but then everywhere where this x we put x plus h as you can see in this equation and then we minus by uh, f of x itself and then we divide everything by h but then what's going to happen at some point of time we're going to take h as a common factor in the numerator and that h in the numerator uh, will cancel out with the h in the denominator if that doesn't happen then we have done something wrong so let's go ahead and see what happens uh, so we have f uh, prime of x uh, being equals to uh, the limit as h turns into 0 and then now let's write f of x plus h so we have x squared in place of x squared we're gonna put uh, x plus h uh, squared right and then plus 5x in place of x we put in x plus h and then minus 6 right and then we subtract the function itself right so we're gonna have x squared uh, plus 5x minus 6 and we divide in everything by h and this will be equals to the limit as h turns into 0 so now uh, we're solving this here x plus h squared so we say that x multiplied by x uh, that will be x squared and then x multiplied by h multiplied by 2 that will be plus 2 x h and then h multiplied by h that is just h squared and then now we have plus 5 multiplied by x plus h right uh, we're gonna get plus 5 x plus 5 h uh, minus 6 and then now uh, we can take the function out of the bracket right uh, we have a minus there so we have minus uh, multiplied by x squared so that will be minus uh, that will be minus x squared and then we have minus multiplied by uh, 5x that will be minus 5x and then we have minus multiplied by minus 6 so that will be plus 6 and then let's divide everything by um, h uh, what's going to happen now every term that doesn't have h is supposed to fall apart at this step right if you can see here we have x squared right and then here we have minus x squared so that will give us zero and then we have plus 5x and then we have minus 5x uh, that will give us zero we have minus 6 we have plus 6 that gives us zero so what we're left with here is just 2x h plus h squared uh what else plus 5h right and then let's write that down so uh, the limit as h turns into 0 will be 2xh plus h squared plus uh, 5h divided by h. Now we can take h as a common uh, factor in the numerator. If we do that, uh, we get the limit as h turns into 0 uh, being equals to h. And then we'll be left with 2x plus h plus 5 and then we divide everything by h so now uh, h and h is going to cancel out right and then let's let h turn into 0 if we let h turn into 0 uh, then f prime x is going to be equals to 2x plus 0 plus 5 uh, this is just equals to 2x uh, plus 5 right uh, if you want to prove whether this is true or not uh, you use the power rule right if we use the power rule on x squared plus 5x minus 6 we're going to get 2 multiplied by x uh, to the 2 minus 1 
plus 5 multiplied by 1 to the x minus um, 1 minus 1, right? Um, and then 6 is a constant, so it's just going to fall apart. So we end up with 2x uh, plus 5. And then that should tell you that uh, what you did is correct. And now let's do uh, 9.2. So 9.2 here, let's determine f prime of x if f of x is equals to uh, 3x multiplied by uh, the square root of x minus 4. I don't know about you, but uh, it's very hard to multiply with the square root, right? It's better if we just write it as uh, to the power 1 over 2. So f of x, uh, we can write it as 3x uh, multiplied by x to the power half minus uh, 4, right? So now we can uh, further simplify. If we further simplify, we're going to get uh, 3x, right? We know that there's always a 1 here, right? So that will be 1 plus 1. So that will be 1 and a half, which you can write it as uh, 3 divided by 2 minus uh, 3 multiplied by 4. That is 12. So we have 12 x right so now we can then use the power rule to solve this uh what is the power rule again just to remind you if uh, we have some function um k x to the n right then if you derivate that uh you should get uh k multiplied by n multiplied by x to the n minus one right uh k being the coefficient of uh, our x right so let's use the power rule there and see what happens so we have f prime of x uh being equals to so we're going to have three multiplied by three divided by two uh multiplied by x to the power three divided by two minus one and then let's apply the same to 12 x we're going to have minus 12 multiply by 1 and then multiply by x to the 1 minus 1 right so this will be equals to so we have 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 3 multiplied by 3 uh, that is 9 if we divide it by 2 we just get 9 divided by 2 right and then now we have x so we have 3 to the power 3 divided by 2 minus 1 right so that will be uh, a half and then minus so we have x to the power 1 minus 1. Any number to the power 0 is 1, right? So we're just going to get uh, minus 12. And that looks like um, we have solved our problem. Let's do uh, 9.2.2. So 9.2.2, see, let's find uh, dy, uh, dx, if uh, y is equals to x cubed, minus 4x uh, divided by 2 minus x. <laughs> this one is a bit complicated, right? But let's see what uh, we can do. Let's take x as a common factor on the numerator, right? So we're going to get y is equals to uh, x, and then we're left with x squared minus 4 divided by 2 minus x. And wait a minute, now we have a difference of uh two squares right so we can factorize that so we're gonna have y is equals to x and then uh now we have um we have x minus two multiplied by x plus two right and then we're dividing everything by two minus x but then uh our denominator here 2 minus x if we take minus as a common factor right we're gonna have y is equals to x multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 uh, everything divided by minus we're taking minus as a common factor right so we should get um plus x right plus x minus 2 so now you should be able to see that x minus 2 and then x minus 2, uh, they cancel out. So now we're going to be left with y is equal to uh, x multiplied by x. That will be x squared, right? Uh, this and this here. And then uh, there we're going to have plus 2x, right? And then we divide in by minus 1. So y should be equal to minus x squared minus 2x right and then now uh we can use the power rule if we use the power rule we're gonna get y is equals to 
minus 2x to the 2 minus 1 uh, minus 2x um, so we multiply in by 1 here for the sake of clarity let me just write it down right and then 1 minus 1 so here we're gonna get uh, minus 2x and then any number to the power 0 is 1 so we just have minus 2x minus 2